reunited in their full red kit, made a trip to Bagatelle to face the unmissable Pity Valley Degu Martin United squad. Both teams began the match in the bottom half of the table and would have seen this one as an opportunity to change their fortunes. Jarrell Hibbert could have seen them into the lead in the opening exchanges only for the dogged efforts of Stephen Walcott to unsettle him in the PVDM area. At the other end, Colonel Fagan saw a gap in the Matura defense. That door was quickly shot by the imposing Darius Riley. Kyron Manswell was silky smooth in possession down the right. However, his gliding run did not get the end product he deserved either from his teammates or the rebound. But PVDM attack would make amends. Who else but Manswell? No mistake from point blank to put the host ahead. Siobhan Stapleton went down under an innocuous challenge. But referee Rashby McPhee spotted something with the whistle. Xavier Navarro Patron did the honors to make it even. The stalemate did not last long. Akil Thomas surrounded and he still managed to pick out the far post and go ahead for PVDM. In the second half, he completed the brace with a streaky run down the wing and a simple finish to stretch the lead to 3-1. The PVDM number 9 was having a particularly destructive afternoon and he put their fort on a plate for Manswell to also double up on the evening. At the final whistle, P.D. Valley Diego Martin's convincing win took them three places up the table into the top five. They sit on 13 points tied with fourth place Harlem Strikers and 11 points behind league leaders FC Phoenix of Tobago. Wayne Cunningham, TTG Sport.